top eight was on VG Bootcamp. Wow. Streaming from a rooftop of a hostel in <laughs> Tacna, Peru. Wow. How did it, you get internet? Dude, I we ran like 200 feet of ethernet up the, up the wall of the hostel onto the roof. We actually blew up our first CRT because someone set up the wrong like power conversion. It was it was it was quite an event, but it was so fun. Um, and we had Alvin and Grands and Nax uh, Nax was in top six, but here they are, winner side top eight of Super Smash Con, essentially the Smash Brothers World Championship. And we're getting another Pika Ditto here. Which is, so we all remember Nax because when he played Isaiah at Incafest, it was Kirby yeah. against Fox, and his Kirby was so good. Um, but he has really an incredible cast, and his Pika is exceptional at the Ditto. Like, I think that's one of his favorite matchups as Pika. Just seeing some of the things he did there, I'm feeling getting Mariguas vibes. That up, up air into the up smash. Oh man, don't, don't make me miss Mariguas more than I already do. Oh, nice. Hits him in the shield with a down air, and then turns around with a jab grab. And he makes sure to hit the shield on the side that's gonna push him more onto the platform and not push him off the platform. The big nair, just enough. Oh, he oh, almost gets back. And just a reminder that is Alvin in blue and Nax in red. And Alvin usually goes blue though, right? That's hard to keep track of these guys. All these Pikas. <laughs> oh, all right, okay, F tilt. Oh, and a down tilt. I love me a good down tilt edge guard. Max with some good, some good quick attacks. And to think for a moment what he oh, wanted. Same thing hey. on the other side. Oh, oh but no down tilt. They playing horse. <laughs> they're playing rat. <laughs> Oh, he tries for that reverse F air. Down smash? Oh. <laughs> it's funny, I think that DI into the stage actually made it easier to land the back air. You know, it, it, this Pika Ditto looks so different from that Pika Ditto. I feel like they're just being a lot more kind of aggressive and neutral. I thought my throat was going to give out there. That was rough, man. So you hold the call button. Yeah, that hurt. The jab smartly keeps Pika from being able to snap to the ledge. All right, so Alvin up, you know, solid stock here, but it doesn't take much for Nax to turn this around. Yeah, just one grab. Oh. No, he wanted he, that. I think he probably thought he was going to cover the tech to the, toward the, to the edge, rather. Oh no! That was okay. It was a down air. It was hard to. I thought it was an F air. I thought it was a fair, but then yeah, I saw yeah. Alvin flying off even farther. So yeah, I thought it was a fair for a second too, but because you, you can get those right. You want it. You want to do the back air, but you want to drift. Oh, back. Forward, yeah, yeah. So it's it's always it's always rough when you know exactly we what they want and you just here, see. So yeah. Have, yeah. You know, every every direction, every input is controlled by the left stick. Every or every move rather, and then also your characters. Uh, your character's direction. So Alvin taking game one. All right, the double grab. There you go, he tried delaying the fair, maybe catching him in a roll or a shield, but not getting that from Alvin. Oh, what the triple roll. And this is winner's side. And I believe Alvin is uh, who put Isaiah in losers. Yeah. Um, he, let's see, one game one in the Pika Ditto, and then Isaiah won game two. Then he switched to Falcon and restocked Isaiah. Went back to Pika, lost again. Went back to Falcon, won again. So the Falcon was uh, doing work for him. In that. I guess he switched off Falcon uh, after winning to avoid the counter pick. Uh, I think he just wanted to say that he won on the Pika Ditto. Uh. Uh, he's a big fan of uh, statement. Statement wins like that. Gotcha. But in the end, he wanted to win, so he did what he thought was best. But this time, we see Nax with a lead. You know, a pretty weak lead. He's off stage, high percent. Great down tilt yeah. coverage from Alvin there. And he uses the Thunder Jolt as well to cover some space out there. 
I feel like that's a kind of a relatively new thing we've seen in yeah. these high level matches using the neutral special to uh, like you said just just cover space cut off angles just threaten oh and he out knowing that the that the F smash was gonna end in time it's a fancy little edge cancel there for no reason from uh, <laughs> from that he misses the top flat though it's fastball F air Alvin's so good with those short hop up airs, facing forward facing short hop up airs. Oh, and Anax no. dash attack, but oh, Anax really isn't able to capitalize. He went for an up smash and got the weak hit on just a low percentage Alvin. Positioning was just off. I mean, yeah. an up smash on low percentage Pika can lead to a full combo. Exactly. If he gets the full hit of that up smash. Oh, that was nice. There you go, the weak up smash. That, that's when you want it. I think there, I think there are certain percents where the weak up smash is better than an up tilt. It's like better, better sends him at a better uh, distance. Right. Sets up the back air. Up tilt, might, he might have gone too high with an up tilt. Exactly. Like too high to reach with the back air, but too low it's for the thunder. Yeah. yeah. Max really turning this around. You know, it was just three socks to one, which is a pretty significant lead in this matchup. Really any matchup, but yeah. it's a lot scarier in this one. Fastball in there, just getting the distance. Let's see if he can edge guard. Oh, good, good up B for Alvin. Oh, nice little up tilt as well. Good spacing to survive on the edge there. Didn't get the edge cancel, so Alvin got a small punish, misses the grab, but you miss that's a big miss on that up air off stage. Because that means Nax is able to get back first, and then he has to quick attack into Nax. Which is really, really rough. That's what led to the oh nice up tilt though. Good spacing from Alvin to get that grab. If Alvin can take this stock here too. Oh very good recovery. Yeah, I mean, even though Alvin's at high percent, getting it down the last stock, it's anybody's game. Yeah, I mean, he can he can kind of do one combo and, turn, and take this game. And then he's up 2 up. There it is. There and up smash. Oh. I mean, that, that was exactly what he That's wanted. What he, he, wanted that, yeah. he, like, he couldn't then, have written that up any and better. And do follow up a lot of ways on the platform. Good spacing from Nax. So Nax really and Alvin's so far away. It makes the recovery so difficult. Nax splitting it now, one to one. Great coverage uh, to cover the edge on that up B. I, I love the Nair. When Pikachu's put out that Nair versus the other Pikachu's, I mean, that hitbox just stays out so long. It just, and it, it just Oh, there we so go, much. the switch. The switch. I mean, I, Alvin is one of the best out there as Falcon against Pika. He really is. and. Uh, you know, he had success with this earlier against Isaiah, so no surprise to see him busted out here against Nax after, you know, again, he won one, but then he lost one much more convincingly. Yeah, and I mean, but this is that class cannon matchup. You see, he's already down one stock very quickly. He hasn't even touched Nax. But same thing for Pika. If Alvin puts his hands on that Pikachu, it could be It's usually it. We, uh, we haven't really seen Nax have to DI a whole lot, but he does there. Wow, so, just two up airs and a down air? I think he lost his jump there and, and didn't realize it. Oh no. You are crazy DI though. You can't roll on the platform with Falcon under you like that. And there you go, two quick ones oh. and another grab, fair, runoff, bear. Alvin did such a great job of avoiding Nax during that invincibility as well. This is just looking... Very one-sided right now. So Nax you, remember when Nax was up uh, four to three with no damage? Yeah. <laughs> Since then, Alvin has taken three <laughs> percent. But we may let's see what happens here though, because if he can make an adjustment, if, even if he can't make an adjustment, Alvin's gonna have to decide if he wants to stay. And Nax has a vicious Kirby. Exactly. Oh, so nice. smart from Nax. Just kind of waiting for. Alvin a drop off ledge, and instead of trying to like down tilt or something, he just you know jumps off stage, floats in there. Like yeah. like you said, that hitbox very you know active for a long time. Yeah, so you really don't have to know exactly when they're gonna make a move, or you don't have to time it perfectly. You're just putting that hitbox out there, and the duration will take care of the rest. Got the single hit. Oh. 
Oh, man, he, he went for it there. I think I think he was hoping he would land on stage. But either way, if he had landed the dare, he, you know, he didn't need to keep his stock because he would have won. Yeah, and just like that, I mean, Nax is right in this after we were talking about. Oh, no. Alvin gets just an awful oh. angle on the up air. Nax hits a grab, goes to float oh. in there, but Alvin lands the up B. Oh, my God. And this is, this has just gotten... <laughs> and I mean, both of these guys, right both of these guys just missed great opportunities to end the game. And now both playing very cautiously. And going going up two to one is just, it's so important. Yes, yes. Especially off of a counter pick. You know, if Nax wins this, he beats Alvin on his counter pick. Right, and Alvin was up so heavily earlier. Oh, oh that great. angle, you, you know, you see, uh, you see Josh do that one all the time. You go right underneath the ledge, and then the tiniest little pop up to uh, to land on stage. Runs Ooh. right under him, but doesn't get anything. Up tilt, oh, no. That back air won't do it, though. Ooh, and he just What a fake the out. Oh. And the grab, this, this I mean, it. it really should be, but he's dropped him before. Great DI oh. from Alvin, but oh. another grab. Another forward throw. <laughs> And yeah, just any hit, and there we go. Nax wow. on the Falcon counter pick is still able to hold on. So, so no Kirby yet. So Nax will probably stay peak because Alvin. Right, because because if he goes Kirby, then you know Alvin's going peak. Yeah, Alvin will probably swap, and and Nax. I mean, he, you know, he did just win. It's just, you know, really funny, uh, talking to Nax earlier in the week, like, I played him Falcon Pika, and right. I was asking him, you know, about certain things, and he was just like, oh, you know, sometimes playing against Falcon, I just I just have too much fear. Yeah. I'm just scared of the Falcon. <laughs> uh, but he's such a character. great job there of just keeping his composure. Yeah, I mean, down three to one against Alvin, no less. And he's DI'ing just enough to avoid an up air after that single hit fair. And it's scary to DI that way, too, because you're DI'ing closer to the blast zone, you know? Yeah, so if you don't make it far enough to avoid the up air, then you're done. Yeah, like, typically, I, I think it's safer to DI in and just take the extra hit to hope you survive. And man, you know, thinking back to the end of that game, so much came down to Alvin getting that just awful uh, angle on his up air that hit Nax like away from him, but yeah. uh, like nobody ever wants that angle. Very nice running grab from Alvin, and then that high percent is just enough. off ledge a little for great invincibility. Oh, and again, Alvin gets the grab there. Oh, that DI, though. Yeah, threw him. And now all of a sudden, Alvin is in a position where he's hanging from the stage. And, you know, and actually had Alvin off stage. Oh, again. Jumps. Oh, oh, and he just steals it he from knew. him. That was so close. And again, like you said before, he just did that. He just jumps off and he puts out that nair while Alvin's kind of planking on the edge of Dreamland. I mean, I don't. I never understood. Like some Falcons, they 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 feel you know pretty strong on the ledge against a lot of characters. I hate being there, <laughs> especially against Pika. It's so scary, and you have to be so careful. You know, I think it's because if, if Pika stands above you, there's a lot you can do. You can, you know, jump, ledge hop aerial Pika's and then do a lot from there. But but I don't think Nax was, like, threat, like staying above him long. He just jumped out. Right away, he just jumps out and puts out that nair. Oh, no, he didn't get the second hit. Oh, run off nair. And there's just, a, you know, super standard, you know, the, the Wario edge guards. It's crazy how how standard those became after that one tournament. Yeah. Everyone's like, wait, I can just do this? Yeah. <laughs> Trading, but... Oh, that's kind of a weird percentage and a weird spot to get the F throw, so Alvin isn't able, isn't able to follow it up. Yeah, and then, you know, the percents like that, usually you can, you can run, jump, get an up air, yeah. maybe follow it up with a downer afterwards, but say I'm not able to get anything. Trying to cover space, floating in there, jump there. Oh, man, and Nax is looking to put Alvin into, is this a, yeah. Yeah, Nax losers. Alvin into losers right here on, on his winner stock. In the Pika Falcon matchup, no less. And that, I mean, you gotta realize, this would advance Nax to winner's finals. That's huge. Double throw. Here we go. He puts out the thunder draw. Oh, He's going to float low. another Nair, but he oh, misses he a follow-up. 
But wisely put out the second aerial there. Oh, and Alvin uses it. Oh, he tried. There and there. Great there from Alvin taking advantage of Nax's mistakes. He had him dead to right. He did. Oh, and Alvin, an accidental falcon punch. Oh, this is this is rough. Oh. Yeah, you can just float the nair out and Nax taking it three to one over Alvin and moving into winners finals. Wow. You know, before before this event, we were trying to like seed, which was impossible, and yeah. we were talking to people from different countries, like, hey, how have they been doing? Who have they beaten? What have they done? And talking to um, some of uh, Nax's you know, compatriots, uh, Foka, he, he said. He said, Nax is 10 times better than he was at Incafest. And I'm like, okay, I I'll accept a little bit of yeah, hyperbole. That's just not, 10 times. That's, just not that's not happening, you know? But I mean, the hype is, I mean, look, he just beat Alvin. You he know? just like, beat I mean, Alvin in the Pika Ditto and then Falcon Pika. I don't understand how you get that good. Wait, like, who is he playing? <laughs> who is he playing to get right, this good? That's another thing. It's, it's, he, I, like, because uh, Shalaka doesn't live in Chile anymore. Right. Um, so, you know, he's playing a lot against... Uh, he's playing I think, online? I think he might be playing online. Um, some of the guys over there, there's a, there's Danny, Diego, um, you know, Foca, Afro. They, they have a solid crew over right. there. There are a lot of good players. 